This is a very brief and quick introduction to QGIS raster processing tools. And it's a little bit confusing because various open source projects have been pulled into QGIS and there's some duplication of efforts and some slight differences in tools that are similar. So it pays to read the documentation each tool and know what you're doing and spend some time learning these tools. I've loaded a raster digital elevation model here, a DEM, of elevations in an area in central eastern Minnesota. And I might want to do some operations on this, some raster operations. There are various places I might find tools. So in the top main menu, if I click on raster, there's the raster calculator, which allows me to do various things in a cell by cell calculation so I can apply these functions to the MAR DEM and specify an output layer. I can write the expression down in here like MAR DEM times two. So if I type two in here, then it would take every cell value in MAR DEM and multiply it by two. Now I might multiply by a constant, for example, if my values are in meters for the DEM the elevation that I want them in feet, I might use the conversion factor that uh, is about 3.28 to convert between feet and meters. And then I would have an output. So if I basically do this calculation, I can, in an output, maybe say DEM feet, right? And then if I run that, I will get a new DEM. It is that DEM in feet. You can see it's applied that value. So the minimum is now 675 instead of 206. The maximum is 1,069 instead of 326. I'm going to go ahead and remove that layer. So I apply these functions through the raster calculator, or there are various other analytical functions. So I can calculate a hill shade for this DEM. Here I have the input and the output, the Z factor. I might do an exaggeration of three, let's say, to really show the output. Um, the scale ratio, in case I had different units for my vertical and horizontal measurements, in this case, the coordinates are in meters and the heights are in meters. The azimuth of the light, where the sun is going to be, uh, so this is 315 degrees, that's in the northwest quad quadrant, and the altitude, 45 degrees, I'll lower this, 25 again, for a more dramatic effect. And then I will go ahead and run this. I'm going to save it to a temporary file, and it creates then my hill shade. So here's a rudimentary hill shade. Again, I'm going to remove this uh, just to not clutter up my display. And so you see I have these raster functions. I can apply analysis. I can project rasters. They're miscellaneous things, merging various rasters. I can extract pieces of raster or calculate the contours, for example, for this DEM. A contour interval of 10. Again, save it to a temporary file. And here I have then the contour lines showing up for this digital elevation model like I might see on a map. So I can do all these things just from the set here on the top, but it gets even more interesting and complicated if I, in my view, show the processing toolbox panel, I find I have a ton of processing tools here available, many of them raster related. There are many of these I've just seen here. For example, I can calculate a various um, raster calculator or Boolean ORs or ANDs. Those are described in the text. I also can do terrain analysis, so calculate the hillshade, like, hillshade just like I did above, or aspect or relief, or slope or other terrain attributes. Now, there's also the GDAL set of tools, which allow me to do raster analysis. So I can do aspect in GDAL or a hill shade in GDAL, which is the one that's up above on the main menu up here, um, or calculate slope. Now, the formula should be defined for these, so I know what I'm getting that's different. 
Grass then is another set of tools. I have a lot of raster tools associated with grass. Each of these has its documentation. And then Saga is a set of tools here that I could do raster calculus and raster analysis. So there's a raster calculator in Saga. Now this raster calculator in Saga is a little different than the one in either GDAL or in the QGIS group, but it has similar sets of functions plus some additional. So you use different raster calculators for different applications if you don't have the tools in one but do in another. Here I can um, tell what are the layers that are involved, what the resampling method I'm going to use, if the layers have a different resolution or the output has a different resolution orientation or a projection, the output data type, and then where to save it. And I have all these tools available to me, um, especially these mod or greater than or less than or the um, conditional function, this if-else condition. So I can apply all of these as well as many other raster functions that are here in Saga. A bunch of terrain analysis, for example, measuring indices of morphometry, um, like morphometric features, relative heights and slope positions, or slope aspect and curvatures, terrain curvatures, again, discussed in the book. So there's a really rich set of tools for raster analysis, and we'll be going through them in additional videos in this lab uh, for QGIS 3.